morning everybody i want to do another installment in my series on the life of christ and this is video number seven and it is the angel visits zechariah so it's luke chapter 1 verse 11 to 17 and there appeared unto him an angel of the lord standing on the right side of the altar of incense and when zechariah saw him he was troubled and fear fell upon him. But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth, for he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink, and he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost, even from his mother's womb and many of the children of israel shall he turn to the lord their god and he shall go before him in the spirit and power of elias and turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient of the wisdom and and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just and he shall make ready a people prepared for the lord so zacharias is in the temple what we would say minding his own business and all the people are outside waiting patiently for him to come back out they can't go in suddenly the angel of the lord appears to him on the right side of the altar of incense and he comes directly from the lord with a special and significant message for zacharias zachariah was shocked and he became struck by the fear of the Lord. This fear is the characteristic human response in Old Testament times to the presence of God or to one of his messengers. It was an overwhelming sense of awe and foreboding. It was the means of God to arrest the sinful lives of his people. Zechariah wondered what judgments the Lord might bring on his people or even on himself. The angel calmed his fears, saying, Don't be afraid, because your prayers have been heard. Zechariah had been praying for God to intervene in the life of Israel and to bring, a, bring forth a prophet that would turn the people back to their God. In this sense, he were in this sense, he and Elizabeth are the antitype of Hannah in the Old Testament. The angel says, Your prayers are heard. And your wife, Elizabeth, will bear you a son. What an amazing prediction. The angel goes on and you are to name him John, which means the beloved of the Lord. His birth will bring joy and gladness and his birth will be a source of rejoicing for many people. Then the angel of the Lord explained why. He will be great in the eyes of the Lord. Men might not think much of him, but God will think of him as a great man. He will be totally sober all his life, and the Spirit of the Lord will be upon him from his mother's womb. He will lead a great revival of the children of God, because he will turn the people back to their covenant God. This man will go before the Lord in the Spirit and power of Elijah, to turn the hearts of the fathers to their children. He will turn the hearts of sinners to the wisdom of the righteous. He will prepare the people of Israel for the coming Messiah. What a great man John will be. And we'll pick up our readings tomorrow, God willing, and look forward to catching up with you then. Have a great day. Bye for now.